So I'm 39 now and I'm looking forward to my 40s. I don't know why some people get so depressed. It's like, oh no, I'm gonna be 40 next year. Life is over. It's just beginning. From what I hear, everybody that I know that is 40 plus said 40s were the best, the best years. I feel better than I ever have in my 20s, although I felt like shit in my 20s. So it's not saying a lot, but I feel good, I feel good. So let's talk about 40 life. He's walking somewhere. Oh, the winter wonderland is upon us. What the hell happened? Oh, I wanted to ride my scooter. How am I supposed to buy pork? So each decade brings its own level of insanity. Your first decade in life, you're just learning the ropes. Think, oh, what's that? Hot stove, that hurts. I remember burning myself on a stove once. We had those stove plates. Those are the dumbest invention I've ever seen. <laughs> It was loud. So you turn on the wrong burner, it's like, oh, what's this? It's, ah! So your first 10 years is about making those stupid mistakes. And you're learning, you're getting better. You no longer shower with your clothes on. You're, you're moving ahead, you're ready for 11 years old. Your next decade is awkward. You become a terrible person. You hate your family. You're just rude. You're a stupid teenager. Your hormones are picking up. You think you know everything. You're 15 years old, you're like, what do you know, buddy? I remember frying hamburger meat and my mom's boyfriend was like, that's poisonous. What you're doing, the blackening, that causes cancer. Listen, buddy, that's the best tasting part. Ironically, he died of cancer. I'm not mocking him, but I outlived him. But look who... So that teen decade, that's an awkward one. A lot of mistakes are made. That can form you. I had surgery when I was 15 to put the hernia mesh in. What a dumb mistake that was. <laughs> I still live with it, but we got the Tesla purple plates. They just dissolve it. So it's not even in there anymore. Now your 20s, that's an interesting one. You're getting some wisdom. You don't know anything. You think you do, but you're like, oh, I know the world. Yeah, this is pretty good. I know my life. You just, you don't, yet. It's the 30s where knowledge and wisdom can be used. You know nothing when you're, ah, a snowflake touched me. And don't get me wrong here, this is my devolved ass we're speaking of here. Maybe you're way, you're a starseed. In your 20s, your teens were my 40s. I'm just waiting to know what you already did when you were six. So I get it. I get it. My generation, we, we did wrong things. We. The internet came, finally, and we used it. But in your 20s, you're becoming fully grown. You're a man now, if you're a man. I ain't against you, whatever you are. But you're a man now. You're somewhat adequate, in some areas of life at least. You're still a cocky dickhead, but you're at least aware that you're dumb now. Think vegan gains, it's three ridge. They're 20s, 20-somethings. 20 All right, let's go get some bacon. You'll realize that's a good thing when you're 39. I got cabbages to make some sauerkraut. It was on sale for $1.83 a kilogram. I was like, that's, that's good times. Organic, sign me up. Got two big ones and it was like $26. It's like, what? And then it says $6.87, something like that, the kilo. I was like, isn't it? It wasn't. The sale had ended, but they left the card up. So they gave me the sale. These are the kinds of things you have to look forward to in your 30s. So when you hit your 30s, you should be a decent human being by now, provided that you've eaten healthy, you're not an alcoholic, you don't do drugs, you don't drink alcohol. Oh God, your 30s brings a certain maturity. I just, I really enjoyed my 30s. Still, I am enjoying them. I'm not gonna die. And within one year, I'll survive. Sure, I do eat a lot of bacon. That's it's a longevity food. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, there's a lost cat. 
Oh, maybe I'll get them. I'll find them and keep them. Oh, take that. I'll, I'll feed them better than you did. I'll give them back. Just a little side note. I ordered a bunch of cat stuff, so I've committed. We're doing it. I'm trying to get a rescue cat at Humane Society, but they're not opening up interviews. I don't get it. So something's wrong with their site. I want that Maine Coon. And she's 11 years old, she'll live a good three months easily. Under my care, raw food. Oh man, can you imagine it? So I want a cat. And that's what happens when you're 30 years old. You can buy things like that. So the maturity that I feel in my 30s should just increase in my 40s. It should be a fantastic decade. We just, uh, I feel like I'm gonna give more. I'm gonna become more generous. It's not so much about me anymore. In the first like 30 years, it's all you. All oh, yo, I want this for my birthday, get it? And it's, everything is about satisfying your own needs, or my life was at least, I'm a dick. But now I feel like giving. I'm gonna give a camera away soon. I give. Feels good to give. There's nothing cooler than a generous person. I really want to be the type that would just see a pack of teenagers and like they're skateboarding. I'm like, oh, you guys need a GoPro here. Take it, man. And I buy another one. So the younger you are, the more you want to get things for yourself. Oh, the perfect camera, what is it? What kind of nerd would be on that quest? Not me. And now I just, I want to give people cameras. I'm waiting to see YouTubers who are just like, oh, I only have a little tiny phone. It sucks. LG flip phone. Boom. Here you go, buddy. So give, it makes you feel good. My girlfriend wanted to take this acupuncture course, some secret Japanese shit. And I was like, take it. Boom, 900 bucks. I didn't even bat an eyelash, maybe a couple. Maybe a couple flaps on that one. But it's like, it just felt good. Like, oh, my girlfriend who heals people can heal them better and faster. It's like, everybody benefits from that. What did $900 sitting in my bank account do for anybody? Nobody. I just bought her level two course as well. There's three levels to it. That's $1,800, but like I just got myself a scooter. It's like, ah, oh, here's yours. Here's your gift. I've been having so much fun on that thing. Fantastic. I just donated to Charlie Freak, gave him a hundred bucks. I was like, he's helped me so much over these crazy times. He just calms me down. He's so confident. He's like, don't worry about all that. No, the election, oh, don't worry about that. It's all taken care of. So in my opinion, there's nothing to worry about if you're 40. You're not getting old. You're getting wise. You're getting better. You're a fine wine, fine-tuned. As long as you eat healthy, like you're not gonna fall apart even if you're 70. There's 70 year olds out there just dancing, swinging. Like just eat healthy, take care of yourself. Get some exercise, follow the monkey strength program. Get a scooter, have some fun in your life. Those good times. There's no degrading. I'm getting better and better. I have no joint pain. Nothing is falling apart. <laughs> so, well, that's today's video. It's about nothing. Like my whole channel. At least I didn't mention food. I did a lot, actually. I'll leave after you thumb up the video. Thumbs down. If you bought a prepaid, <laughs> God damn it, a prepaid plan for a whatever that was truck, the disabled truck, because you know you'll be disabled when you're 51. Think positive thoughts, my friend. If you believe it, if you believe you're gonna crumble because you're old, you'll manifest it. I believe that. That's nothing. Hamster cage. For my cat. Can a main coon fit in there? Will he be happy? Alright, I'll leave. Thanks for watching a GoPro 9 episode. Gift from Ian Corzai, everybody's favorite YouTube lawyer. He gave me this thing. That's the generosity of mankind. I'm gonna give somebody something soon. I'm just waiting to pick the person with the Samsung NX1. It's gonna feel good to give. So give something away. Give me a cat. I'll leave after you buy a vegetable police t-shirt. Subscribe for a minute.